so which we all have studied in our school times but we never knew that we are going to study again if you if you want to understand six sigma because six sigma majorly and this is this is a uh, very very important thing which i six sigma focuses on two things okay one is to improve problem that we are currently at example you trying to improve the customer satisfaction or you you trying to improve the efficiency or you trying to improve the turnaround time or cycle time or uh, trying to improve the employee satisfaction etc etc that you can do with the help of six sigma there's another thing also which helps six sigma that is to reduce the variation okay uh, can can someone tell me uh, and that's why i asked this question from you because i'm touching upon basic stats now and uh, i want this question uh, this 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 concept to be understood by each and every one then only i'll start basic stats okay so i am asking a question from all of you why do you think variance or variation in a process is not good for any business so that's an open question that i've asked uh, please share your opinion so a variation um, means a lack of stability uh it shows that there is somewhere the stability is getting a hit so when a system or process or anything or an organization level or process level function level whatever you see variance variation it shows that something is not happening with the same rate same style same method every time so that's why at the core some something is getting unstable and that's why variation is not something which is good so what will happen if uh, the things are unstable uh, uh let's say uh, like i'm not talking about the external factors like uh, market or something because that's of course cannot have a static uh, graph uh, but at the uh, but within the industry itself uh, i feel that if something is unstable it shows that this some sort of attention is required and what will happen if you ask uh, good quality they call it so what will it impact if my process is not stable if it's not a good practice a uh, lot of vary lot of variance or lot of variation what would happen what 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 is the thing that i'll not be able to do if i'm a business owner or if i am the production manager i think sorry it, you cannot go to the root cause of the problem uh, you will not be you will not be able to uh, you know ensure that the customer would be satisfied because yeah, so the, the trust factor yeah trust factor would be would be somewhere compromise so if if let's say a customer wants a radio okay that works perfectly so there would be some things that the customer would be able to tolerate like if there's some static let's say uh, or something like that would be able to tolerate but if uh, if there is something that exceeds their tolerance limit they will be you know upset there will be sending it back and they'll be bad mouthing the company yeah so somewhere their reputation might be hit or maybe there would be accidents or there would be certain image or something some sort of problems may happen that like may happen uh, because you know stability is something which 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 is a foundation for everything if you're not stable enough in your process in your own thing the competitors if they succeed that they will have your customers surely so what will happen so i am asking a why from this uh, what will happen if my uh, trust is not good my stability is not good what would happen in so in few years in few years you, you will no longer exist you will be out of market there will be a loss of business yeah, there is one there is there is one step which uh, which we uh, which we haven't uh, covered so we are uh, we are we are going as per the stage we are saying uh our customer would be dissatisfied if i have a lot of var variation in my, in my process uh, i would not be able to show trust i would not be sustained mm -hmm. and then and then you said i will be out of the race but in between mm -hmm. there is one thing which which will not happen i will be a higher chance of failure failure of the yeah exactly so failure of a certain part or you know like uh, so the efficiency would take a hit Okay, uh, let me let me give you a situation. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Please go, go ahead. Uh, so, sir, what I was what I was trying to say was, uh, your output will not be uniform. Your business will be uh, open for a lot of risks uh, if if uh, you have variance uh, throughout your process. 
so you, you will your error rate will be very high and then what what is it that thing that which i will not be able to do uh, you will religion. not you will not have a uniform output you will not be able to meet the customer expectations okay let, let me give you a situation let me give you a situation okay you will you will be not able to analyze what is the root cause uh, of that problem if the variations are uh, much more high but uh, i have we already can, we can. We but can. i have yeah. already uh, but i have already yeah. analyzed it i have improved the current state so let me give you a situation uh, i have but, a target uh, of i have a target of reaching uh, a sales of Uh, a revenue of ten percent incremental revenue. Okay, I have a target of uh, reaching ten percent incremental revenue. I started this project somewhere in January, and in June I completed it. Okay, I reached the ten percent stage. In the month of July or August, I reached to a twelve percent. Then I reached fifteen percent. Then I reached eighteen percent. Although it is good for my business. My business would be very very happy कि आपने दस का target लिया था ज़्यादा पढ़ गया, okay? There's a lot of variation. Uh, now tell me, is your customer getting dissatisfied? Are you moving out of the race? Is your business unstable? Are your customer dissatisfied? Are you showing unloyalty? So those were one of the impacts. That could be one of the impacts. But if if it is within the process, within the employ, within the, uh, I mean, uh, it's not at that level where it can. it can get to the customer directly uh, within the function if it is remained still uh, there would be uh, like when i say customer it doesn't mean always the customer from outside or in the market customers can also be somebody you always work with you provide mm -hmm. service to within the company also mm -hmm. so if there is a satisfaction to satisfaction it will still show that the particular function is not performing good as in for example if hr process let's say if i'm an hr and uh, i have been helping the employees with their exit process and let's say i am not consistent with my communication or i'm not giving them proper feedback or their settlement is getting hit of course within the organization there will be distrust to the hr department and it will give a bad name to them you know certain certain times so what example you gave of course that can be one of the scenarios where it is not directly being hit because the competition is, is your is, is with you, you yourself so in that case uh, the impact would be i believe uh, but what but what you would you not call it as a variation of course we can we will we will so, so is is all variation yeah please uh, go ahead yeah so uh, the thing that i'm saying if you are if even if we are exceeding it we are not able to uh, let's say we won't be able to predict in the future how much we uh, Abs like absolutely absolutely so that's the that's the key word so can we all can we all clap for him please yeah so so absolutely as that's the reason i was friend i would not be able to forecast i would not okay. be able to predict yeah so that's why variance is not good for my project so so in a it's a it's a kind of a memory jogger which you can always keep a note of it if variation is bad you can kill it if variation is good you recreate it so for example the example that i gave wherein i have exceeded what i have exceeded okay or what i expected in that case i will shift my target to that extent and see if i can deliver that in a one particular month why can't i do it but i will not ignore it i would try to identify that what has happened in that particular month but yes variation either it's good or bad it is not good for my business because i don't know what has happened in that particular uh, month it could be uh, i have compromised on my quality it could be i have acquired some business which i have not gone for i have done some my employees or my team has done some malpractices uh, i i don't know what has happened okay so so that's why variance uh, if there is a lot of variance the question that i have asked i would not be able to predict i would not be able to forecast that what is going to happen in the future okay so that's what i was talking about but all of you have gave your correct answers uh, in terms of uh, what could it leads to so that's why six sigma focuses on two things improving the current state from x to y and reducing the variation so let's quickly go on to what is stats uh, this is a normal you already know i don't need to explain it to you very simple 
uh, it is a science of data. It is collection, organization, and interpretation of numerical data. With the help of stats, we will able to come up to a lot of consensus, a lot of analysis, a lot of, in, lot of uh, decision making, which help us to take this moral. So as I said, we understand why when we do stats and decision making, which means I would be able to decide, I would be able to forecast that what I'm going to have. So this is the nutshell that what, why stats is very, very important in Six Sigma. Because in Six Sigma, when we work on the matrix, when we work on the improvements, we see sometimes there's a lot of variation. Okay. We see the problem is improving to a certain stage, but there is a lot of variation, which I need to reduce. Because if I don't know, I will not be able to predict and there would be a time when I will not be able to do anything. Then I would require a lot of effort. So uh, apart from improving the current state, I, I should also look at reducing the variation. So in Six Sigma, uh, when we get into our analyze phase, I would uh, introduce you some of the tools which would help you to see that uh, what is a kind of variation that is there in the process and what is expected out of it whether I am at the right stage or not. So, and I will also share the techniques that how you would be able to get rid of that variation. Okay. So, but just for now, um, just remember that in Six Sigma, we are not only trying to improve the current state, we are also trying to improve the variation in the process. Not improve, reduce the variation.